okay so in the previous video i mentioned that uh, we will be implementing the bulk actions uh, for the excel export and i tried it myself and found that there's no proper or uh, optimized way to implement that because uh, currently the api implemented uh, in splayed only provides us with a single record at a time it doesn't provide all the, all of the selected records so for that reason there's no proper way to uh, export the selected records and if you've noticed uh, the way we are deleting the record this is also not an optimal way because for each of the records it is uh, making a query to the database so this is also not a good solution but maybe in the future uh, the api might improve and maybe in the future we can implement uh, these features in a proper way so i'm skipping that for now instead uh, in this video what we'll be working on is displaying the class and section data so we only have the student data in here so i want to display the class and section data and in the further videos we'll be implementing the filters and all the other stuff so here what we can do is to display the class data you can we can use the column notation so first let's display the class relationship so the name so the class here is the relationship name and the column that i want to display is name and the same for the section so section dot name so let's go ahead and reload and we should see the class and section data and what i also want to do here is i want to import i want to install the debug bar package and maybe we need to implement some optimization or eager loading so that uh, our database queries are optimized so let's go ahead and reload and there's probably some eager loading or n plus one issues going on in here okay we don't see any issues maybe uh, internally played uh, eager loads the data so that's fine we don't have to do anything so that's it for this part maybe this got a bit shorter so maybe i should also implement the select filter in this video itself so we have select filters available for the table component so we can apply the filters so you can check out the documentation but what i am gonna do is i'll just uh, go ahead and paste the code and then explain to you so what we are gonna do is we will implement a filter to filter the students data by class so let's go ahead and do that so inside vs code what i'm gonna do is just like we have the bulk actions and exports we can pass in a select filter value and the key is going to be class id so by which value do we want to filter the data so this is available in the student record as class id so that's the reason this is class id and the options are going to be all of the classes data and we are plugging the name and id and then converting that to an array the label is going to be filtered by class no filter option is true so this means that uh, by default we don't want to apply any filters and the label is going to be all classes so all these records will be displayed by default when no filter is applied so let's go ahead and reload and now as you can see we have a filter icon and when we click on it we'll see a filter by class label and all classes and if i click on class 3 then as you can see the data is filtered by that specific class so this feature is also implemented in the next part let's work on the avatar feature so we'll let the user to upload the image and we'll display that in the index page and so on so let's go ahead and do that